Aloha and good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on This Is Now. We begin today with some news out of the Polynesian Voyaging Society. They are preparing for yet another exciting journey at sea. That's right. Details of Hokulea and Hikianalia's latest major voyage was announced this morning. Our Mahalani Richardson was there for the press conference and joins us now with the details. What can you tell us, Mahea? Hello, Ash and Dylan. Yes, it is a historic day as members of the Polynesian Voyaging Society, including their leader, Nainoa Thompson, announced a really historic voyage, Moana Nui Akea, a voyage for Earth. It is a four-year voyage that actually starts in Alaska. Now, this is the first time that Hokulea will be in Alaska. It all starts in June and goes all around the Pacific from to Seattle. It is going to meet up with Hiki Analia, the second voyaging canoe, then it's going to go down to South America and all throughout many communities in the South Pacific, all the way to Japan, and then of course back to Hawaii in four years. Now you may notice as you hear Nainoa Thompson speak that the numbers kind of fluctuate. Well, that's because the voyage is ever changing. They need to get permission from different communities. But at this point, it's 47,000 miles that the crew will travel around the Pacific. It is a very important voyage for education. Here's what Nainoa Thompson had to say. It's going to take four years. That's going to go 47 months. And it's going to go 43,000 miles. It's going to go to 36 countries and archipelagos. It's going to go to at least 100, 150 indigenous Recording territories. Progress. And it's going, to, it's going to probably go into the communities well into the 300s. It's going to connect explore, discover, it's going to connect. It's about building relationships, finding across the world, built on the premise, human beings are more alike than they're different. Hokulea needs to touch the earth, and the earth needs to touch Hokulea. It's the only way that you can be part of the earth, is to go around it. Then the third promise he made me make was build a school for the earth, by the earth. Our instructions are clear. We'll build schools. Prepare our children for the greatest journey that human history has ever seen. And back here live, you know, Hawaiian Airlines is one of the partners. They just donated 34 million miles to the crew of the Polynesian Voyaging Society. Also, members of the community are here, including the University of Hawaii, which is a partner, and the Department of Education, which is going along this worldwide voyage through a uh, virtual canoe called the Va'ahonua. And this is a really important part. So there are three canoes, the Hokulea behind me, Hikianalia, and this virtual canoe, which will carry students all the way around the Pacific virtually. Ash and Dylan, back to you. Mahea, such exciting news. Uh, thank you so much for giving us all the details here. Now, I want to ask you a few questions. You were there uh, when Hokulea came back to Magic Island and tw in 2017, and also you saw them in 1999 in Rapa Nui. Tell us, what was that like for you to witness that arrival? Well, it is incredible, Dylan and Ash, to see Hokulea arrive on shore. Um, and, and I can tell you, the crew members have said that every single arrival is special, but literally thousands of people lined up along the shore to watch Hokulea come to the shoreline at Magic Island. And I can tell you, uh, back in 1999, when I was just a rookie reporter, uh, I had the honor uh, with KGMB to be sent to Rapa Nui, to Easter Island. Uh, that's one of the countries that Hokulea will visit again and it is amazing to see the canoe come back after so many months out at sea you know the crew is tired uh, they're sunburned uh, you know they want their ono for some local food and there's always an exchange of education there's an exchange of culture uh, there are warm embraces and certainly I can anticipate that for every single stop at Hukulea and Hiki and Aaliyah will stop at a lot you mentioned the crew. Um, have you spoke to the crew members down there? What did they say about, you know, training for this voyage? Is it any different than the previous voyages? 
Well, I know Thompson has said he will try to sail as little as possible. So uh, what that exactly means for us laymen is that, you know, he's really trying to give these legs and this voyage to the next generation of navigators. Of course, you know, you have these experienced voyagers who've been with the Polynesian Voyaging Society for decades, and many of them were here, like uh, Bruce Blankenfeld and Archie Kalepa. But uh, when it comes down to uh, going to places like Rapa Nui, again. Uh, Nainoa Thompson said guarantee it'll be the younger generation who will be leading that leg of the voyage. So it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, uh, as these older voyagers uh, let go of the reins and let the younger generation take over. Yeah, that's so awesome. Mahal, one more question for you. Uh, can you reiterate the whole purpose of this Moana Nui Akeo voyage for the people at home? Well, it's all about the earth. I mean, every time uh, Hokulea goes on a sail, it is all about the earth. And this time, uh, Nainoa Thompson said that it's about sailing into the future. And during his speech today, this news conference, he talked about climate change. He talked about sustainability. And those are very important themes for the crew of the Polynesian Voyaging Society. In fact, if you think about a canoe, each uh, leg of a voyage is about two weeks. And so they have limited supplies and they they need to be very careful about their water, how much they're carrying, uh, in fact, where they stand on the canoe. And so these are some of the lessons uh, that they hope to uh, uh, learn and also share with many people as they go through these different communities throughout the Pacific. All right, Mahea Lani Richardson reporting for us. Thank you so much, Mahea. We look forward to your reports on later editions of HNN. Yeah, what an awesome, exciting journey that they are going on today. We would love to see the, all the next chapters for the crew members. And a uh, big thanks to our Mahalani Richardson for being there at this press conference uh, earlier this morning.